G'day guys, it's James McLaughlin from Betfair Australia here. I'm gonna show you how to install Geekstoy. Uh, this is one of the most popular third-party tools. It's really popular with sports traders. Um, however, it's also effective with racing. I'm gonna show you how to download your free trial, which is a 14-day free trial, as you can see here. Um, Geekstoy is one of the most uh, cheapest third-party tools as well. So quite simple, the interface is really clear, really well designed. Um, the navigation is simple, as you'll soon see. Um, and the 14-day free trial obviously it lets you give a spin before you commit to, to paying for it. So I downloaded and installed Geeksoy. Now I'm just going to open it up. So I'm just going to go to my search function here. Okay, so I'm just going to go to Geeksoy for Betfair. So I'm just going to maximize that and put in my Betfair details. Hopefully that gateway error isn't anything to be worried about. You can see the language, pretty obvious there. And I'm going to jump on the international exchange, as most of you will be. And then operation mode, Betfair Live, Betfair Training Mode. Training mode means play money, monopoly money. Betfair Live is the real deal. Um, depending on who you are and how you like to learn, um, you could choose either of those. Play money is a great way to, to trial in some markets and try some strategies that you've got really no experience with. Um, however, I like just going straight in with the real deal and having a few dollars on things, I'll just change my staking so it's much smaller than it normally would be. So you can see me logging in now with my Betfair details. There we go, we're just loading up now. You can see all the markets, the market navigator populates automatically. So obviously the first place I'm gonna go is wherever I wanna have a bet. I've actually had a little bit of action on the golf this week. I'm going to go into the winner's market here of uh, the Mayakoba, and you can see I've had a bet against um, Harris English down there. So you can see my match bet straight away. Laid him at 350 after the second round. Fortunately, and I wouldn't show you guys if it wasn't uh, in my favour, but we're up to um, sort of 510 to 520 in the market now. So I could green up on that selection. But you can see all the options. So uh, this is halfway through day four, actually. I've just had a little bit of a break. And you can see there's there's really only three, well, four, five technically um, players in the market down here, um, but three really good chances. Um, and then you can also see as I'm changing between my selections, you can see the Betfair graph on the left-hand side um, moves with it and you can see what all the match volume was. So really simple. I can get straight in here and transact just by pressing a button. I can change my staking. Um, it's really quite intuitive. You can see the color scheme similar to the exchange, really easy to use. Um, I'm just gonna go into another market just so you can see the racing. So horse racing, you can um, navigate you know, through meetings that way or just go today's racing. Um, I've accidentally hit the place market there, which is suspended, but I can also just go, so sorry, I should move a little slow here. I've just right click on the banner here and then I can go next races and whatever's the next to jump. If I wanna have a bet in Globe Derby, I'll go straight to the winner market and you'll see them all populate here. Um, and the market's obviously updating in real time. Um, you can get quite sophisticated with this setup as well. So you can move things around um, to your liking. There's so many different ways to set this up that'll suit different betting strategies uh, and you can adjust your staking and all the rest of it. Um, if you really wanna deep dive into Geekstoy, check out YouTube, there's some good setup videos around. We'll also be expanding the collection of videos that we have. Another one that we're going to show momentarily is how Matt Barker, a professional cricket trader, sets up his geek story to trade in cricket. Hopefully you can join us for that one. So if you've got any questions, please put them below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hopefully um, you feel confident setting up and, and playing around and using geek story um, across any markets, whether it's racing or sport. Thanks for your time. Bye.